The day of the official announcement has arrived. Players file into the meeting room with anticipation, all eager to meet the coach that will lead them. Coach addressed the team privately and laid out the new rules moving forward. It was good. It was good. Hey, Taylor. What's up, girl? Hey, good morning. Do you sleep good? They all sleep good? Yeah, she ran in the room. Let me check it out. Come on, bro. Carry your ball. Let's go. B man, what's up? It's cold out here. Help, Brady. See your breath? Blow. You want me to hold this ball? Yeah. Family and UW officials gather. It's time to head over to the Don James Center for the official announcement. Let's go. How are we doing? Good morning. Good hey, meeting, go. Went great. Good. Hi, okay. how are you guys? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Way to go. Hi, guys. Hi. Come on in. couldn't be more happier to have as our next Husky football coach, Coach Steve Sarkeesian. Wow, what a moment, guys. What a moment. Uh, I, I just want to say I'm so grateful for this opportunity um, to be the head football coach at the University of Washington. I want to thank uh, President Emmert, Athletic Director Scott Woodward. This is, uh, this is an opportunity to me, uh, one of, of the jobs in the country that I've cherished since I was growing up in Southern California watching Pac-10 football. Uh, the opportunity to come to this university, to stand in front of this student body, these alumni, the coaches that have been here before, Don James, uh, what an amazing opportunity for myself, for my family who's here with me today. Uh, I'm just so excited to be part of this thing and to get this thing going in the right direction. The 23rd head football coach of Washington is now officially at his post. Washington gets a late start on recruiting, but there's still plenty of time left. The top players in this state should never leave. This is too good of an institution, this is too good of a program for a kid to want to leave. So uh, there's no question, we're going we're to put a wall up around the state of Washington, uh, around, the, around the Seattle and surrounding areas that these kids are not going to leave anymore. We're going to keep them here. Uh, and then we need to do a good job when we get out of here of identifying the, the top talent on the West Coast and, and go after it and go get it. Uh, so there's no question that the kids in, in this area of the, of, the, of the country should never be leaving to go anywhere else. This is too good of a university. This is too good of a program. There's too much tradition and history here for a guy to leave. The stranglehold created by closing the program off from former players and media is finally released. I want our practices to be fun, exciting. I want people there. I want students at practice. I want alumni at practice. I want media at practice. I want people to see us. You know, we've, we've got 105 kids on this football team, but they're not the only ones making this thing and making this experience what it's going to become. It's going to be, it's going to be a group effort. It's going to take this entire university, this entire community. Uh, and so uh, it's going to be open. We want people around us. We want people seeing us. Uh, we want the kids to feel your support, uh, you know, to empower them to do the great things that we want them to do, no question. Assembling the best staff, finding the best players, and shaping this program into a national powerhouse like the one he just left begins immediately. There are some guys that will join on, join on board here very quickly. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to take our time and assemble the best staff available and not rush into this thing and just put 
you know, put 10 guys together and try to figure it out. We're going to take our time and be diligent in our work because uh, we owe it to these kids. We owe it to this university to put together the best staff available. Sark will take on double duties for the next couple of weeks. He's game planning for USC's Rose Bowl matchup while molding a program to return to a Rose Bowl in the near future. I'm going to hit the ground running with recruiting from the University of Washington. Uh, we'll do that. Our game plan uh, in spurts for, for USC to get ready for Penn State in the Rose Bowl. Uh, as Christmas time hits, recruiting hits a dead period where I cannot be out on the road recruiting. So then I'll, I'll be completely immersed in that game plan for USC. I'll coach the Rose Bowl on the 1st. And uh, January 2nd, we'll become the full-time head coach of the University of Washington. Huskies All Access is presented by 76. Get the spirit. And by Sterling Savings, the perfect fit bank.